One of the most exciting times in any Nintendo fan's year is, of course, direct time. The hype leading up to it, the swirl of rumours, the inevitable crushing disappointment when literally nothing you care about gets announced. But it's fun nonetheless, right? Zelda, Mario, Donkey Kong, like, what are we gonna see? Well, I've got a couple of ideas, so let's wish some games into existence, shall we? So the Switch is obviously wrapping down now. Nintendo themselves have announced that they will inevitably announce its successor sometime this fiscal year. So this could be one of the last directs solely focused on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I don't think Nintendo is going to put a lot of focus on getting awesome first party titles out for the last year of a system. What they really want to do is just tide us over. Give us enough to keep that interest there for their successor system. Anything huge like the next big Zelda or the next 3D Mario is probably going to go straight to the Switch 2. So I think this year, 2024, is going to be the year of the remakes or the remasters. We've already got Thousand Year Door. We've had Mario vs. Donkey Kong. Luigi's Mansion 2 is coming up. So I think we're just going to get ports of all these older games to tide us over. The most obvious one, the one that everyone's been waiting for the longest, is the long-rumoured Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD. Whether these come to us in a double pack for... 80 Australian or 60 American, or they come to us individually for less than that each. I don't know. Apparently, according to some Nintendo insiders like Jeff Grubb, these games are actually out there and do exist for the Switch. We're just waiting on Nintendo to actually drop them. And if there's a time to drop them, it's now. It's going to build huge hype for the Switch still, while being relatively easy to do. Easier to do than a brand new Zelda, at least. I feel like Xenoblade Chronicles X is a good contender as well. It would be really nice to have all of the Xenoblade Chronicle games on Switch. I think they might wait to Switch 2 to do this, just to give the Chronicles fans something on that new system relatively shortly after launch. But hey, it's still there. Everyone wants it. It's like the last big Wii U game that's stuck on the Wii U. So even for preservation stakes, just give it to us. If I could just Nintendo direct you to that like button down there, if you click that, it helps this video's discoverability to no end, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Apparently, there's been some legal copyright renewal about Kirby and the Rainbow Curse which is another Wii U title. I think this one is a little bit less likely because we've already got so many Kirby games on Switch. Another Kirby game. While don't get me wrong, I love Kirby and I would be excited. I don't think there's going to be as much hype for that as there would be other things in this list. Kid Icarus Uprising is a really interesting one. That game has notoriously bad controls on the 3DS, so much so that it came with its own stand so that you could stand the 3DS up and use the stylus to play it. So I think if they could potentially bring that over to the Switch, update those controls, it's not a huge game, but it is big enough to build hype with all your normies and give us long-time fans something we've been wanting for a while now. Kid Icarus needs more love. And then this is going to lead me into my next point, but I think we might get Metroid Prime 2 and 3 remasters of some kind. We obviously had the Metroid Prime remaster at the start of last year. Incredible game. Love it, looks fantastic on Switch. So it's a no-brainer to bring two and three over as well. Again, why not? You've got this series here that's not as huge as your Zeldas, but still is beloved by many fans. I don't think we're gonna see Prime 4 though. Sorry, people that have just been holding their breath for like <laughs> eight years now to hear something more about Prime 4. 
I think they're definitely going to save that for the announcement of the Switch 2. They'll announce the Switch 2, they'll give us a Prime 4 release date, then and there, boom, it'll all happen really fast. So I think to, again, build hype for Prime 4, release 2 and 3 now. Why not? A lot of people haven't played those games. If you can get this current generation to become interested in Prime, then it's just going to boost the sales figures of Prime 4. Now, I would be interested, is there any remakes that I haven't thought of that you think would be a great contender for remakes or remasters this year? Because I would love to know. Let me know in the comments. I am sorry, guys. There is going to be zero news on the Nintendo Switch 2 at this Direct. Nintendo themselves has already come out and said this Direct is going to be focused on the Switch games that are coming out for the rest of 2024. So if you're just at this direct wishing and waiting for some kind of Switch 2 announcement, don't worry, it is coming soon. Just not now. Maybe we could get a little bit of information on some games that will be launching for the Switch 2, but they will not tell us that they're launching on the Switch 2. I could be wrong and they might just be like, here is a Metroid Prime 4 trailer. But there won't be a release date yet because we all know that's launching for the Switch 2. Now, having said all this stuff about remakes and remasters, I do think Nintendo still has another one or two big titles up their sleeve. Something new and interesting, something to, again, tide us longtime fans over. The people that might have played pretty much all the other Nintendo games there is. Now, my pick for this, what I wish is a Donkey Kong game. Give us a brand new 3D Donkey Kong. The Kirby in the Forgotten Land treatment, give that to Donkey Kong, please. There's not even an original DK title on Switch. We got Country Tropical Freeze, that's a Wii U game. There is no original DK game. But we should change that, you know? That should be changed. So that's my pick. For the one big title but they might completely surprise me and do a little bit more of a niche series maybe we'll get another excite bike bot truck game why not we do know that they've been pushing their smaller ips recently like the recently released endless ocean so it wouldn't surprise me if they did something along those lines as well now, of course, it's not just going to be all about Nintendo and what they're doing. This is the real juiciness, if you ask me. What are those third-party developers? What have they got up their sleeves? Well, there is a couple of things up a couple of people's sleeves. The one I am most excited for, I've been hyped for this for ages, Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. I love HD 2D, and I love what Square Enix does with it so, so much. Octopath Traveler 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. So the next installment in that HD 2D art style, I'm all in. And the fact that it's Dragon Quest 3, <laughs> how good is that? So Square has come out and said it's going to be getting a multi-platform release. I think Nintendo likely has the marketing for the game, but I only say that because it's gonna sell the best on Switch, in it. I don't see Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D doing all that well on Xbox. It's gonna be mainly a Switch title, but hey, they got nothing to lose by bringing it elsewhere as well. Speaking of Xbox, let's talk a little bit about Doom. It has recently been rumored that there is a brand new Doom game in the works, possibly ready to be shown. And the rumor is that this Doom game, apparently titled Doom The Dark Ages, is going to be announced at the Xbox showcase sometime in June. Now, if this showcase happens before the Nintendo Direct, I can definitely see us getting a trailer at the Direct for the new Doom. Every Doom is on Switch, including the impossible port of Doom Eternal and its DLCs. It's not that much of a stretch that we're going to get a brand new Doom on Switch. Hi-Fi Rush is another Xbox adjacent title. I say adjacent now because it is no longer going to be an exclusive. There are apparently plans to bring games like Hi-Fi Rush elsewhere. 
Xbox, Microsoft infamously just shut down the studio behind Hi-Fi Rush, but I don't think that's cause for concern for the game coming to other platforms. The game exists, why not push it onto other platforms? And again, that is a cool thing to see in this last year of the Switch, getting ports of Xbox exclusives. Like, yes, please, everybody wants that, why not? And I think this June Direct is gonna be the perfect time to show off something like that. Are you a fan of Sega or their little known character, ah, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Sonic, that's the one. Yeah, Sonic's getting a new game soon. Sonic X Shadows Generations, or is it just Sonic Shadows Generations? I don't know. It is a remaster of Sonic Generations with a bunch of additional Shadow the Hedgehog content added into it. This game is apparently coming out in fall of this year, and we haven't heard much about it yet. So it's about time Sega ramps up the marketing for this game, and the perfect place to do that is a Nintendo Direct. Okay, so they are all my predictions for the Nintendo Direct in June. I guess the one other prediction I have is that I'm gonna be blindsided by something. There's gonna be something awesome that just shows up here, whether that be an indie that I've never heard of, or some brand spanking new Splatoon or Astral Chain 2 game, you know? I am going to be super hyped by something I have no idea about and did not bring up in today's video. That is for sure. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see from this Direct and what you think you'll see from this Direct. Sometimes those two things can be very different. Thank you all ever so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Oh. Hmm. I feel like Xenoblade Chronicle eh. I feel like Xenoblade Cro I don't know. I feel like Xenoblade Bade. Yeah.